Here in the Safety Advancement Laboratory, we're focused on passive safety. So we've done everything we can to prevent a crash, but in the event that there is a collision, now we're focused on protecting customers from injury. So everything we do inside these test labs right now is focused on that crash event and evaluating the vehicle structure performance, airbag performance, seatbelt performance, and other mechanisms that help protect our customers. I think the, the single biggest benefit to bringing this here is um, one, one is efficiency. That was one of the big things when we uh, decided to go for this project. But I think it further reinforces the, the teamwork and allows other people that weren't so close to the, the crash testing and all that to now actually come over and experience and see it and see how their parts performed and see it in real time. It's quite impressive to see a crash test. And I, I think it helps reinforce for them how important it is for them to do their job to design their part correct so that test ends up being successful. The amount of detail that goes into running a test is incredible. If you ever get a chance to actually see an instrument in test vehicles, there's hundreds and hundreds of data channels collecting data, all kinds of video channels. Everything has to work perfectly. And so the cars have to be prepped perfectly, the test has to be done, and then afterwards, the analysis and all that. It's, it's a very, uh, every little detail, you dismiss one and the test could be invalid. So in terms of uh, our crash viewing, we have the, the cameras, the offboard cameras as well as onboard. Also we have a uh, very large 16 by 24 foot pits in the ground where the vehicle runs over a three inch thick sheet of acrylic and it's crystal clear and three to four cameras underneath where the underbody is illuminated. We can see all the structural members bending and deforming during the event and it really helps us to understand where the, the load is being managed by the vehicle during the crash event. So we have approximately 30 high speed cameras uh, we typically take our video footage at a thousand frames per second. Some cameras um, are used for analysis at 3,000. I believe we can probably go up to about 10,000 frames per second on the units we have. So the advantage of that high frame rate is uh, particularly for airbag deployments or restraints deployments, we can see individual stitches burst on the seat as the seat airbag comes out or we can see the trim uh, in the, the headliner as it starts to separate and as the bags start to deflate and exactly how they roll down to make sure they cover the vehicle interior in such a way to manage the impact to the occupant. So it's, it's less than the blink of an eye. This passion for the customer and kind of how to you know, produce a great car that looks great, but performs great, and finally protects the customer in all situations is like a huge part of pride, I think. And one of the things we do get is a lot of letters from customers. And this is where, um, you know, terrible crashes have occurred, and someone actually reaches out to us and says, you know, thank you. Thank you for saving me, for saving my family. And there's been, we get a lot of those letters with a lot of pictures. And they, that just another way to kind of remind us of what we really do. And that, to me, it's about the precision of what we do. So it's, it's about not overlooking any of the details, you know, and following through with the robustness, the repeatability, with the, with the actual procedure, but the real world safety as well. And then is it buildable? Is it repeatable? Can we reproduce that for every car, for every customer? So that sort of total viewpoint that it's not just a job, it's not just a piece of paper, it's not just a, you know, something that you're doing, it's about really the, the end result and we get that feedback a lot from the customers and I think it really drives it home is that pride factor.